The Great Pyramid's role in archaeoastronomy's origins <laughs> is eye-opening. 200 years ago, there weren't any archaeoastronomers or even any archaeologists, but there were astronomers and antiquarians fascinated by ancient objects and beliefs. And nearly 500 years ago, the Italian inventor and mathematician Herolamo Cardano believed the Egyptian pyramids enshrined a collection of precision measurements inspired by nature. In 1638, Englishman John Greaves surveyed the pyramids. As Oxford University's professor of astronomy, Greaves believed the English system of weights and measures came directly from Egypt. When the French metric system threatened to replace English measures in the mid-1800s, a literary mogul ignited a profound debate that gripped all of Great Britain for nearly a third of a century. The British inch, all but identical to the pyramid inch, became a rallying point to vindicate the English system. Scotland's astronomer Royal Charles Piazzi Smythe surveyed the Great Pyramid and returned claiming its measures were divinely inspired. Shocked by this leap of faith, astronomer Richard Anthony Proctor, a prolific astronomy author and international lecturer, discredited Piazzi Smythe. Instead, Proctor saw the scientific essence of the Great Pyramid as a temple, a tomb, an observatory built and used by humans. All of this was documented by University of South Carolina Associate Professor of History Eric M. Reisenauer in his article, The Battle of the Standards, Great Pyramid Metrology and British Identity, 1859 to 1890, published in The Historian in June 2003. This age marked the end of the antiquarian era, when astronomy matured, instruments improved, and brand new diverse and specialized scientific fields, including archaeoastronomy, were emerging. The impact was felt as far west as Chicago, where antiquarian Dr. Everett W. Fish, M.D., wrote a book, The Egyptian Pyramids, An Analysis of a Great Mystery, published in January 1880. He credits celestial observation as key to aligning the Great Pyramid with the compass. The two authors in control of Wikipedia's Archaeoastronomy article in March and April 2008 went to great lengths to bury this subject. Pyramidology seen as a root might distress academic colleagues, voting on a special distinction for their article. The past practice judged as pseudoscience today must be ignored. Vigorously protest and use reliable sourcing to show it was influential? Watch your edits get reverted and your voice silenced. I was guilty of trying to disrupt the possessiveness of these two collaborators, but elsewhere, dozens of Wikipedia editors readily admit the dream of turning lead into gold, alchemy, was a catalyst for modern chemistry. <laughs>